Yes. Well, tonight we are looking into the future, a future where we can get places we need to be and want to go without a car. City of Greensboro leaders are spending more than $569,000 to look into how to make it possible within the next 17 years. Here's a little more on that vision. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims tells us public transit, biking, walking, carpooling, and riding the rails, rails are all part of the Mobility Greensboro 2045 plan. So everything you like to do is close and convenient enough to get rid of your video call. I love the idea of having walkable cities and, you know, being able to go somewhere without worrying about gas getting too expensive. I mean, there's so many restaurants and grocery stores around. I think that uh, with the Greenway running really close to here, like it could be an awesome yeah. experiment. A vision of transportation we don't have nailed down at this time. However, it is in our future. A life without the need for a vehicle. To do that, you really need to be able to see yourself having more than one way to get around. So you realistically could go by on foot as a pedestrian, ride your bike, or combine those with a transit trip to get where you need to go. Hannah Cockburn oversees the Greensboro Transportation Department. These 12 chapters outline the vision the challenges and the safety of a transportation system, providing convenient choices to access destinations throughout the Greensboro metropolitan area and the triad. This type of plan really needs to address emerging needs today, as well as build our system out to meet the needs of the future. So it really is uh, for everyone. Busing options for everyone is where things will start. Public transportation is really unique because it relies on the rest of the system working well to make it work well. So there's absolutely a connection back to how we prioritize new sidewalk investments, how we prioritize connections to our greenway system and other bike facilities, because all of those things play into the success of transit. Then city leaders were brought in the scope and include all modes of transportation. We're excited about the opportunity to have this broader conversation with uh, the folks in Greensboro today, the folks who are investing in Greensboro, um, creating new jobs um, and new places where jobs are that aren't currently served by transit to sort of figure out how we fill that gap. And over the next two years, a recently hired company will take a detailed look at what can work. City leaders also plan to involve you in this process through public engagement opportunities. Those meetings are set to happen soon. Still